Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well, and what I have in this parcel here is something that even one year ago I wouldn't have even contemplated in buying, but as sort of time has progressed, it kind of ended up being something that I had to buy. Now, usually when it comes to my videos, the backdrop that I select just happens to be a random bunch of shirts that I feel like I haven't shown for a while, and this time we've got two Venezia shirts, and it's no coincidence why those shirts have been selected. So I've taken a little bit of a, you know, a leaf out of My Soccer Universe's uh, sort of book, where he likes to choose the backdrop which fits up with the uh, sort of topic of the video. And it's not just because these two shirts are beautiful, which they are, it's because they directly correlate to what is inside this package here. So, that kind of sounds a little bit exciting. I'm very, very interested to see what this is going to look like in person. I think it's best that I open it up and you can see what I've done because um, I hope that this is going to look very, very nice when paired with the other two. So here we go. Let's see what I have bought. Very careful to not destroy what is inside here. Very well packaged. I have. Ooh. It is green, black, and orange. I wonder what that could be. Could it be another Venezia shirt? Well then, possibly is. Let's get this out of this package and um, see which one specifically I have. Goodbye. Well, we know it's Venezia, that's for sure. There is the rear of the shirt, you have the Venetian colours there running across the top in a little band. And then we have the front here. And there we go. For those of you who are football shirt experts, and I'm sure that means most of you here watching this video, will be well aware that this is not the current shirt. That is that one. It is not the season before. That is that one there. It is the season before that one. It is the 2019-2020 home shirt. And it is mint condition, brand new with tags and medium, just like the other two that I own. So I shall dress the mannequin and then I'll explain to you why I bought this, where I bought it from, and a little bit about the shirt, though to be honest there isn't all that much to speak about. Okay, we are back and there is the shirt. And I don't know if you can see all three possibly in the same shot right now, but I am very, very pleased with what I've got here. So, like I mentioned, it is the home shirt from the 2019-2020 season. And for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, or are at least aware of my collection, the idea was that I would buy one shirt from each particular club, and then get up to 1,000 individual clubs. And if I did particularly get a different version of a shirt, like, let's say, an improved version, I would then just sell the one that I had previously, and that was my intention. Um, because a lot of the shirts that I bought at the beginning were sort of just cheaper ones and they weren't necessarily the most beautiful shirts. Uh, and obviously since then, better shirts have been released. Well, I first bought last season's home shirt uh, and that was an absolutely amazing purchase. And I was like, right, that is perfect. Very, very happy with that. And then of course they released this season's home shirt, which everyone was hyped about. And I thought, well, if I want my collection to stand out in some way, I, I think I'm probably going to have to own it, especially when you consider how particularly scarce it is. It's still, I believe, sold out, so it's going to be quite a bit of a rare item, uh, and it's probably going to be quite valuable in the future. So then I had both of those, and I thought, well, do I then sell this one? But I don't really want to sell this one because it's very, very nice. It's unlike every other shirt I have because the colours are very unique, and there are, and similar to the home shirt. And I suppose this one, there's not many floating around, certainly not in mint condition and in a, in a, in a sort of size like medium, which is quite uh, sort of sought after. So I obviously have kept them both. And then roll on to actually, well, last week or this week when I'm filming, this one appeared for sale on vintage football shirts and it was in my size. They had every single size, small through, I think, to double XL, but they only had one of each. So obviously they had the one medium. And, well, I've got that one. Um, if you're looking to buy one, they only have small left right now. And probably by the time this video gets released, they'll probably be all gone. So that is a shame. But if it's still there and you can get it, you know, that's that's an option for you guys. Um, so obviously I saw it appear for sale and I had to decide. 
do I really go down the path of just continuing to buy Venezia shirts, keeping them mint condition, just home shirts, medium, and seeing what we can do with that. Because it's one of those clubs where I don't see them sort of disappearing for a while. They're, they're going to be in sort of pop culture, I guess, for, for a bit until I guess maybe everybody turns against them. But even still, I feel like the shirts will stand, uh, stand alone in that respect. So I thought, no, let's do it. Let's buy it. And I have three shirts now, all mint condition. I don't think there's going to be too many people out there who have all these three in this level of condition or maybe just generally in, in, in any condition because they are pretty difficult to, to source outside of, I suppose, the, the club itself. Um, and I guess I then decide to go either back or forward. So next season I will get the home shirt again, whatever that is. And if I can find 18, 19, 17, 18 home shirts with tags medium, then I will probably buy those also, though the price is probably going to be quite high. The price for this one here was £50, so I did have 5% off, which covered the postage, but it's still a decent amount of change when you consider I bought that for £50. The one over there, I think that was similar-ish, maybe, maybe £45, £40, and then that one was retail what it was currently, so I don't know, was that £80, is it, something like that? Um, so it's a little bit of money that we've spent on, on the Venetia shirts, but the fact that it has the, uh, the vertical stripes and then that one has the horizontal stripes and this one of course has the sort of different design and approach. I think we've ticked all the boxes at the very least. So even if we just stick with these three, uh, we've kind of got everything that Venezia sort of have offered recently and all their different designs that they've showcased. Um, I think for me, I don't know which one's the best one. It, I think it's probably still between the current season and the season previously. Maybe the previous season because because it's just... I love the orange they've used. It's a slightly different shade. Like this one's a darker orange. That one's a little bit lighter. Um, but I mean, they're all very nice. And I'm very pleased to own it. It's, um, yeah. It's a bit of a, a gluttonous purchase, I guess. It's not really something that I'm going to count in my collection on, like, the website, for instance. It's still not going to be, uh, you know, go towards the thousand. These are separate items. Um, it's just for my own benefit. And I can do some photography with it or something and just sort of go, hey, guys, look what I've got. Um, but yeah, you know, it's one of those things. It, I, I, I couldn't not do it. I'd feel pretty bad if I missed out and someone else was able to, uh, to buy the shirt and show it off. So yeah, three minutes your shirts. Um, I guess that's another thing that I'm collecting now. Anyway, uh, let me know if you guys have got any of these shirts. I know they're pretty difficult. Um, has anybody actually been able to get the current season shirt? Um, and if you have any of the older ones in the condition that I like them, um, maybe message me if you're interested in selling, um, though I understand totally if you're not. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend ahead. Uh, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.